when you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long, developed the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life. Fighting for your future. Fighting for your career. Fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrich. I'm an author and addiction recovery coach and life coach and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version if you go to YouTube under the search bar, type in Take Your Life Back Today show, or you can just type in Ralph Friedrichs. This morning, when is good enough not good enough. All of us have dreams we're believing for, but too often we get discouraged and quit believing for the fullness of what's in our heart. It's easy to water down what God has promised us. I don't like this job, but it's good enough. I was believing for a house, but this apartment is okay. I was hoping to get well, but I've learned to live with this sickness. If you're going to become all you were created to be, you have to keep a fire in your spirit that says, I refuse to settle for less than what God has promised me. You're not going to be talked out of it. You're not going to water it down. And you're definitely not going to let good enough be good enough. It may be more difficult and taking longer than you thought it would. The good news is, my friends, what God promised you is still on its way. Not a watered-down version, but the full version. Not a make-do promotion. Not a partial healing. Not good enough um, marriage also. Don't settle. God doesn't water down what he's spoken to us in Daniel 6. When the three Hebrew teenagers were thrown into the fury of furnace because they wouldn't bow to the king's golden idol, they were bound with cords. They should have been killed instantly. But when the king gazed into the furnace, he said, Didn't we throw the three bound men in there? I see four unbound, and one looks like the Son of God. Here's my point, my friends, this morning. Your hands may be tied today, uh, uh, today you've worked, prayed, believed, and done the right thing, but it seems like your dream is never going to work out. 
The good news this morning is God's hands are not tied. He is not limited by uh, what's limiting you. I believe your cords are being broken as we speak. What's restricted you in the past has lost its grip, that addiction, that sickness, that lack of the bad breaks, whose people who are against you. It's a new day this morning. The fourth man has shown up like the Hebrew teenagers. You're going to come out not bound but loosed, free, whole, vindicated, promoted with that dream you were believing for. See yourself breaking the addiction. See yourself rising to new levels, paying your house off out of debt. See yourself happily married with the children who are serving God. Your hands are not tied anymore. God is releasing you into the new levels of your destiny. Mediocracy is not your home. Good enough is not your destiny and getting by is not where you belong. Don't settle for less than what you know God put into your heart. Get your passion back and go after the destiny that belongs to you this morning. Do it. Call me if you want to talk about it. 844-405 help because together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourself and always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger for the rest of their lives and it can change your life. Don't let good enough be good enough. Go after what God has promised you and make the best and the most out of your life. May God bless you and we'll talk to you all real soon. Take good care. Thank you.